Electrification of heavy goods vehicles or general commercial vehicles has always been the harder area to tackle because cars have got a provision now, but the big stuff is physically big, you know, and it's hard to get in the existing locations. The industry needs a solution to be able to electrify the, uh, the, the, larger, the larger things on the road, and this is the beginning of that journey. They need a lot of power, right? So to, we're, we're getting to the point now where we're looking at, including within this trial, up to one megawatt charging being distributed potentially into vehicles of the future, which is the same as a small village. So we've got to keep pushing the boundaries in terms of power to make sure that we can continue to deliver the charging solutions that enable these things to go up and down the country as effectively and as swiftly as possible. We're running out of time to address the climate crisis and if we're going to have an impact, a meaningful impact, then we need solutions which are commercially viable. And there's many people for many years have said it's not possible, electric won't work. Well, we're very excited because we're about to demonstrate that it does work and it works at scale. What we're focusing on is how we can deliver really high power charging so that when a vehicle stops for 45 minutes, you can fill it up with enough energy until it needs to go to its next destination. That means you're not having to have a bigger battery than you need. That means you can transport the same amount of freight as you would otherwise be able to do. You know, if you charge it up on uh, low cost solar energy, then it'll be cheaper than diesel as well. We've got an incredible consortium um, of logistics companies, supermarket companies, retailers, uh, and many, many others. They have hubs and warehouses and uh, lo logistics depots, so that will involve uh, putting charging infrastructure at their locations, which we will be supporting the delivery of. And then when the vehicles have left those locations, there will be a need for en-route charging. And so we'll also be building hubs specific for charging heavy goods vehicles along the motorway network as well. And in addition to that, grid server developing and building on our grid serve technologies platform uh, to create a system that will connect smart, connect those pieces together so we can you know, both demonstrate that the technology works, but also scale it up. As with everything we've done at, at GridServe really, it's a learning curve and we're learning by doing. Um, so we've got to understand the physical constraints as well as the technical constraints. I got here earlier and saw a couple of electric vans charging and, and it was only a couple of years ago we were taking pictures of those going, hey look, there's a van turned up. Now it's just normal. You know, whereas this isn't normal. So what we want to do is, is hopefully I can, I can see that journey again where we're putting the harder to reach vehicles on the road and more people can, can make use of that. <laughs>